Okay, so now we're going to continuously build on top of our base fabric. Now we're going to build with uh, the red velvet fabric and some gold sequin. And we're going to start by prepping our fabric. Now we're going to arrange our fabric on the floor directly in front of the backdrop in the order that it needs to be added to the crossbar. So your fabric at the end should look like this. So be mindful that the red fa fabric that is on the ends is actually going to end up in the middle because that is how it's going to be threaded. So you don't want to lay your fabric out according to your design. You want to lay your fabric out according to how you need to enter it onto the crossbar. Meaning whatever fabric is going directly in the middle needs to be on the end when you're threading. Needs to be on the end on the floor. So we're going to remove our crossbar on one end. We are going to nestle it onto our shoulder. And we're going to start with the very first piece of fabric, which was the red. However, the red for the design needs to go directly in the middle. So be real careful of your order, how you lay your drape uh, out on the floor. And then we're going to get the next piece. And this is why also why it's important to have a short um, system. I'm looking for my tag so I could put it in the back. But if I was to have had a taller unit, like maybe an eight foot upright, this would have been difficult. And sometimes it slides out. If you don't have the castle top unit, your crossbar can slide out of the hook. So just be very careful. Now I'm going with the gold. And guys, this gold piece of fabric right here actually was a tablecloth. I sold this panel um, very similar to how I told you guys to use the pins. So I took pretty much a tablecloth and pinned it along the way I showed you previously. And then I just uh, ran a seam through to create an actual panel. I used to just pin these like I pinned the burgundy, but I was used, I was beginning to use them so often and was tired of dealing with the pins. I just went on ahead and sewed it. So once I have all of my panels on, I am going to put the crossbar back into the hanger and I'm going to go to the other side. So same thing remove the crossbar and wrestle it in the cradle of your neck. Now, if you notice how I have one piece of my burgundy loose, I didn't tack the very end. That is because when I have the two pieces, the two velvet pieces directly meeting in the middle, I wanna take one and overlap the other so you don't see where they meet. So one of my panels if I have, if it's a made, homemade panel such as these, I always leave a little flap available so I can overlap and then I'll pin once I am straightening out my fabric. I'll pin the two that's in the middle together, just on the end so they don't slide apart and have a gap. So if, if you can tell, I am first draping with red velvet, then I, ha and it's more or less of a burgundy. And then I have a burgundy crush vole, which is the crush sheer. And then I am going to a gold sequin. And this isn't the heavy duty sequin. Sometimes I really do like using the thinner ones because they drape better. Um, so this is the sequin that actually was a tablecloth. And then I am finishing it with a, this is considered like a taupe, um, another crush sheer so that's all i'm using for this second layer um the base layer again is the white across sheer i have six panels and then on top of that we've attached the focal fabric that we saw previously and then this panel is what we have on our second layer now we have to measure same as before using the flexible uh, measuring tape and I am going to find my middle. 
to be sure that all my panels are even on both sides. So the one half should be 36 because this is a six foot backdrop. And without even moving any of my hands, it should be the very same on the opposite side. So I would find my middle and be sure now I'm going to measure each panel to be sure that they are even, have even widths on each side. And this is what adds to your backdrop being very even, very polished looking and premium. You will learn to skip this step, but in the in the beginning, I have highly advise you to just do it so you can get your eyes trained to know exactly what certain adjustments are. And that's that. So now we're going to get to the designing aspect. So meet me in the next video.